in the heart of the enchanted forest, where sunlight danced through the leaves, there lived a curious unicorn named Harmony. Harmony had a shimmering coat and a magical horn that glowed with the colors of the rainbow. One day, as Harmony pranced through the dew-kissed grass, it noticed a mysterious map tucked under a silver fern. Intrigued, Harmony unfolded the map with its velvety muzzle. To its surprise, the map revealed a hidden path leading to the whispering waterfall. With an excited neigh, Harmony decided to embark on a magical journey to uncover the secrets of the whispering waterfall. As Harmony followed the map's winding trail, it encountered wise old trees that whispered tales of kindness and friendship. Through the sparkling meadow and over the crystal bridge, Harmony continued its adventure. Along the way, it met creatures like the gentle sylphs, who taught Harmony the language of the wind. The sylphs twirled around Harmony, leaving behind a soft breeze that carried laughter and joy. Approaching the whispering waterfall, Harmony saw a magnificent sight, a shimmering pool surrounded by radiant flowers. The waterfall's song was like a gentle lullaby, and the flowers shared their wisdom with Harmony. In the reflective pool, Harmony saw not only its own reflection, but also the magic it had gathered on its journey. The language of the wind, the laughter of the sylphs, and the wisdom of the flowers. With newfound knowledge, Harmony felt a sense of gratitude for the wonders of the enchanted forest. The magical journey had not only uncovered the secrets of the whispering waterfall, but also taught Harmony about the beauty of learning and discovery. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Harmony returned to the meadow, carrying the map and the magic of the whispering waterfall. The enchanted forest glowed with an even brighter enchantment, thanks to Harmony's adventurous spirit. And so, in the heart of the enchanted forest, the tale of Harmony's magical journey became a story passed down from one generation to the next. A reminder that curiosity and a love of learning can lead to the most enchanting discoveries. In the heart of the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered secrets to the wind, lived a curious griffin named Glimmer. Glimmer had the body of a lion and the wings of an eagle, but its heart yearned for knowledge and adventure. One sunny day, a wise old owl named Ollie perched on a branch near Glimmer's den. Ollie hooted, Glimmer, it's time for a great quest. Seek the wisdom tree at the Misty Mountains, where ancient secrets are hidden. Eager and excited, Glimmer set off on its great quest. Through the whispering woods and across the sparkling river, Glimmer journeyed towards the Misty Mountains. Along the way, Glimmer encountered playful pixies, who taught it to leap gracefully over obstacles. As Glimmer approached the Misty Mountains, the air became cool, and the mist enveloped the landscape. The wisdom tree stood tall and wise, its branches reaching towards the heavens. Glimmer felt a sense of reverence and curiosity. The wisdom tree spoke in a gentle rustle. To gain knowledge, you must learn from the elements. Seek the Cave of Echoes, where the secrets of the earth await. Intrigued, Glimmer spread its wings and soared towards the Cave of Echoes. Deep within the cave, Glimmer discovered talking rocks that shared tales of time and patience. The rocks echoed wisdom, teaching Glimmer that true knowledge comes to those who listen. Continuing the great quest, 
Glimmer ventured to the crystal caves, where luminescent crystals sparkled like stars. The crystal fairies revealed the magic of colors and harmony. Glimmer learned that every hue had a story, and together they painted the world with wonder. With newfound wisdom, Glimmer returned to the wisdom tree. The ancient tree whispered, Share what you've learned, and your quest will be complete. Glimmer, now wise and enlightened, soared back to the enchanted forest. It shared the tales of the whispering woods, the sparkling river, the misty mountains, the cave of echoes, and the crystal caves with fellow creatures. The enchanted forest buzzed with excitement as animals gathered to listen to Glimmer's stories. Glimmer realized that its great quest wasn't just about seeking knowledge. It was about sharing and spreading the magic of learning. And so, in the heart of the enchanted forest, Glimmer's great quest became a legend, a story of a griffon who sought wisdom, and in doing so, illuminated the path for others to embark on their own journeys of discovery. In a land where clouds hung low and rainbows painted the sky, there lived a friendly dragon named Puffy. Puffy wasn't like the dragons in storybooks. Its scales were soft and fluffy, and instead of breathing fire, it blew bubbles that sparkled in the sunlight. One bright morning, Puffy felt a gentle tug in its dragon heart, a call for adventure. Puffy waddled out of its cozy cave, ready to explore the enchanted valley. As Puffy strolled through the flowery meadow, it encountered a wise old owl named Olive. Olive perched on a branch, hooting a friendly greeting. Puffy, eager to learn, asked, What secrets does the Enchanted Valley hold? Olive shared tales of magical flowers that only bloomed at night, and Puffy's eyes widened with wonder. With a newfound friend, Puffy continued its journey. Next, Puffy reached the Crystal Creek, where friendly water nymphs danced on the ripples. They taught Puffy a dance that made the water sparkle with each step. Puffy twirled and spun, creating a watery masterpiece that reflected the joy of the enchanted valley. As Puffy ambled through the whispering woods, the trees whispered ancient stories of courage. Puffy listened intently, and the trees bestowed a gift, a shimmering cloak of bravery. With its newfound wisdom and magical cloak, Puffy reached the Misty Mountain. There, a group of playful pixies invited Puffy to join their cloud tag game. Puffy, with its fluffy wings, soared through the clouds, leaving trails of giggles in the sky. As the sun began to set, Puffy returned to its cave, carrying the lessons and magic of the Enchanted Valley. The once fluffy scales now held the sparkle of adventure, and Puffy felt a warm glow in its dragon heart. The tales of Puffy's adventure spread through the enchanted valley like wildfire. Creatures big and small gathered to hear Puffy's stories, and the valley became a haven of knowledge, laughter, and friendship. And so, in the land where clouds hung low, and rainbows painted the sky. Puffy's adventure became a cherished tale, a story that reminded everyone, big and small, that the most magical adventures are those filled with learning, friendship, and a dash of dragon sparkle. In the heart of the enchanted skylands, where stars twinkled like diamonds, lived a radiant fairy named Moonbeam. 
moonbeam's wings shimmered with the colors of the night, and its laughter echoed through the ethereal meadows. One night, as moonbeam danced among the clouds, a gentle neigh echoed through the celestial winds. It was a call from a magical pegasus named Stardust, who soared gracefully through the night sky. Excitement bubbled in Moonbeam's heart. It was time for an adventure. Stardust descended to greet Moonbeam, its wings brushing against the shimmering clouds. Moonbeam, would you join me on a journey to the moonlit mountains? Asked Stardust, its eyes gleaming with anticipation. With a twirl of joy, Moonbeam agreed, and the two friends soared through the star-studded sky. Along the way, Stardust shared tales of constellations and the secrets hidden within the galaxies. Moonbeam listened, absorbing the wonders of the cosmic realm. As they reached the moonlit mountains, Moonbeam discovered a garden of moonflowers that only bloomed at night. Each flower sparkled with soft moonlight, casting a gentle glow on the mountainside. Stardust nuzzled the moonflowers, and their fragrance filled the air, leaving the enchanted duo in awe. Continuing their adventure, Moonbeam and Stardust glided over the silver streams, where water sprites danced on silver ripples. Stardust dipped its hooves in the stream, creating ripples that mirrored the twinkling stars above. Moonbeam joined in the dance, leaving trails of magic in the water. The journey reached its pinnacle at the celestial peak, where the northern lights painted the sky in a mesmerizing display. Moonbeam and stardust danced beneath the auroras, their laughter harmonizing with the celestial melody. As dawn approached, Moonbeam and Stardust returned to the enchanted skylands. The night had been a symphony of learning and joy. Moonbeam realized that the sky held a universe of wonders waiting to be discovered. Back in the ethereal meadows, Moonbeam thanked Stardust for the magical journey. The fairy's heart glowed with newfound knowledge, and the bond between Moonbeam and Stardust became a beacon of friendship in the enchanted skylands. And so, in the heart of the night, Moonbeam and Stardust's adventure became a tale whispered by the breezy winds, a story that encouraged every fairy and pegasus to embrace the magic of learning, exploration, and the beauty of the celestial world. In the heart of the enchanted skylands, where clouds painted themselves in hues of pink and gold, lived a little fairy named Sparkle. Sparkle's wings glittered like the morning dew, and her laughter sparkled like a thousand tiny stars. One day, as Sparkle fluttered among the floating islands, a burst of radiant colors caught her eye. To her delight, it was a rainbow phoenix, a mythical creature with feathers that shimmered in all the colors of the rainbow. The phoenix, named Harmony, was perched on a cloud, its majestic wings spread wide. Excitement bubbled within Sparkle, and she approached Harmony with a gentle greeting. Harmony, sensing Sparkle's genuine curiosity, invited her on a magical journey. With a graceful leap, Sparkle hopped onto Harmony's back, and they soared through the sky. Their first stop was the celestial waterfall, where droplets of stardust cascaded from the heavens. Harmony taught Sparkle the language of the waterfall, a melodic song that echoed the magic of the sky. The droplets danced around them, creating a symphony of joy. Next, they ventured to the starry meadow, where flowers bloomed with the glow of distant galaxies. Harmony shared the secret 
of the cosmic nectar, a potion that made the flowers sparkle. Sparkle dipped her fingers in the nectar, and the meadow transformed into a canvas of glittering hues. As they approached the moonlit lagoon, the water shimmered like liquid silver. Mermaids with tails adorned in moonbeams swam gracefully. Harmony and Sparkle joined the underwater ballet, learning the importance of grace and cooperation. The adventure continued to the Rainbow Ridge, where the air was sweet with the scent of dreams. Harmony's feathers glowed even brighter, reflecting the enchanting colors of the ridge. Sparkle twirled in delight, her wings leaving trails of stardust. As the sun began to set, Sparkle thanked Harmony for the magical journey. Harmony, touched by Sparkle's genuine joy and eagerness to learn, gifted her a feather infused with the essence of the Rainbow Ridge. Back in the enchanted skylands, Sparkle shared the tales of her adventure. The other fairies listened in awe, their hearts filled with the magic of the Rainbow Phoenix. And so, in the heart of the enchanted skylands, Sparkle's journey with Harmony became a timeless tale. A story that reminded everyone to embrace the magic of learning, exploration, and the vibrant colors of friendship. In the heart of the Azure Abyss, where the ocean depths cradled secrets and the coral reefs swayed to an ancient rhythm, lived Neptune, a friendly sea serpent with scales that shimmered like the moonlit waves. Neptune, with a heart full of curiosity, yearned to explore the wonders hidden within the boundless sea. One tranquil morning, as the sunlight filtered through the crystal clear waters, a gentle hum echoed from the whispering seashells. The wise dolphins, guardians of the azure abyss, spoke of Neptune's voyage, a journey that would unravel the mysteries of the oceanic realm. Neptune, feeling the call of adventure, set forth on a quest for aquatic wisdom. His journey commenced at the enchanted kelp forest where the sea anemones swayed in a mesmerizing dance. Neptune, with a graceful glide, learned the language of the underwater currents and the art of navigating through the swaying kelp. The forest, now alive with the rhythmic pulses of Neptune's tail, reflected the first hints of aquatic harmony. Continuing through the coral lagoon, Neptune encountered Siren, the singing mermaid. Siren, with a melodic voice, taught Neptune the songs of the ocean. Neptune, now attuned to the enchanting melodies, joined Siren in a harmonic duet that echoed through the underwater realms. Their adventure led them to the luminescent caverns, where Luminara, the radiant jellyfish, illuminated the underwater landscape. Luminara, with pulsating grace, revealed the secrets of underwater illumination. Neptune, with a luminous aura, joined Luminara in creating a spectacle of light that painted the cavern walls. As they approached the abyssal trench, where the ocean floor plunged into darkness, Leviathan, the ancient whale guardian, emerged. Leviathan, with a majestic spout, shared the importance of balance in the oceanic ecosystem. Neptune, with a nod of understanding, delved into the depths, discovering the delicate dance of life in the abyss. Their journey reached its zenith at the Pearl Palace, where Queen Narita, ruler of the ocean, awaited. Queen Narita, with a regal presence, bestowed upon Neptune the pearl of aquatic wisdom. The palace now aglow with the brilliance of the pearl, became a sanctuary of knowledge. 
with the quest for aquatic wisdom complete, Neptune returned to the whispering seashells. The wise dolphins, acknowledging Neptune's newfound wisdom, gathered to celebrate the aquatic harmony that now embraced the entire azure abyss. Neptune, now the guardian of oceanic knowledge, swam through the depths, sharing the secrets of the sea with every creature that called the ocean home. And so, in the heart of the azure abyss, Neptune the sea serpent's voyage became a legendary tale, a story whispered by the waves, embraced by the coral, and celebrated by every creature that sought the magic of the ocean, forever enchanted by Neptune's quest for aquatic wisdom. In the heart of the celestial desert, where golden dunes stretched endlessly beneath the radiant sun, lived a mythical serpent named Sol. Sol, with scales that shimmered like rays of sunlight, was no ordinary serpent. It was the solar serpent, guardian of the sun's warmth and light. One scorching day, as the desert sands danced with heat, Sol noticed a group of curious desert creatures seeking shelter beneath the shade of the mirage palms. The cacti, wise elders of the desert, gathered around Sol, expressing concern for their fellow creatures. With a wise nod, Sol decided to embark on a solar journey to teach the desert dwellers the importance of balance and harmony with the sun. The mirage palms with their fronds gently swaying in agreement, offered their shade for Sol's journey. As Sol slithered through the desert, it encountered Sandy, the sand fox, who complained about the scorching heat. Sol, with a gentle hiss, explained the sun's role in providing warmth and energy to the desert ecosystem. Sandy, enlightened by Sol's wisdom, thanked the solar serpent and embraced the sun's rays. Their journey continued to the oasis of parched paws, where water creatures sought refuge from the heat. Sol, with a glint in its eye, explained the water cycle and how the sun's warmth fueled the clouds that brought life-giving rain. The water creatures, grateful for Sol's teachings, danced in the oasis waters, celebrating the harmony of sun and rain. As they reached the starlit dunes at nightfall, Sol revealed the magic of the lunar cycle and how the moon, a celestial companion, provided a cool respite from the daytime heat. The nocturnal creatures, serenaded by the whispers of Sol's scales, embraced the harmony of both sun and moon. With each encounter, Sol shared the secrets of the sun fostering understanding and appreciation among the desert dwellers. The celestial desert, once a realm of discomfort, transformed into a haven of balance and unity. Sol, having completed its solar journey, returned to the Mirage Palms. The desert creatures gathered beneath the shade, expressing gratitude for Sol's teachings. The celestial desert, now a tapestry of life and warmth, echoed with the harmonious dance of sunlit sands and moonlit dunes. And so, in the heart of the celestial desert, Sol, the solar serpent, became a legendary figure, a tale whispered by the desert winds, etched in the golden grains of sand, and celebrated by the creatures who learned to coexist with the boundless energy of the sun.
in the heart of the enchanted forest, where sunlight filtered through the leaves like golden rain, lived a young basilisk named Blaze. Blaze wasn't like the legendary basilisks of tales. Its scales sparkled in hues of emerald and gold, and its gaze held not a hint of petrifying magic. One sunny day, Blaze felt a gentle breeze carrying whispers of friendship from the heart of the forest. Intrigued, Blaze set out on a friendly quest to discover the source of this magical invitation. As Blaze slithered through the whispering ferns, it encountered a wise old owl named Oliver perched on a branch. Oliver hooted a friendly greeting and shared tales of kindness and camaraderie. Inspired, Blaze decided to seek out new friends and spread warmth through the enchanted forest. Blaze's first encounter was with the grumpy goblins in the mossy glen. Instead of frightening them with its gaze, Blaze offered a friendly hiss and a shimmering scale. The goblins, touched by Blaze's gesture, transformed from grumpy to giggly, and they joined the friendly quest. The journey continued to the crystal clear pond where a family of water nymphs swam. Blaze, with its gentle gaze, turned the pond into a dazzling reflection of the forest. The water nymphs, delighted by Blaze's presence, joined the friendly quest, leaving trails of laughter in their wake. Their path led to the singing willows, where melodious tunes echoed through the air. Blaze swayed to the music, and the willows revealed the importance of harmony. With Blaze's scales reflecting the vibrant melodies, even the woodland creatures couldn't resist joining the friendly quest. As they reached the sunlit clearing, Blaze and its newfound friends noticed a shimmering rainbow forming in the sky. The rainbow spoke of unity and the magic that happens when different beings come together. Blaze's scales glowed in all the colors of the rainbow, symbolizing the harmony forged on the friendly quest. With hearts full of joy, Blaze and its diverse group of friends returned to the Whispering Ferns. The enchanted forest resonated with the tales of the friendly quest, inspiring other creatures to embrace friendship and kindness. And so, in the heart of the enchanted forest, Blaze's friendly quest became a legendary story, a tale that echoed through the leaves and rustled in the wind, teaching the magic of friendship to every creature, great and small. In the heart of the Enchanted Valley, where emerald meadows met cobalt skies, lived Crystal, a young and curious griffin with wings that sparkled like precious gemstones. Crystal, with a heart full of bravery, yearned for adventure and a chance to prove herself to the magical creatures of the valley. One radiant morning, a golden key appeared at the entrance of the valley, bearing an inscription that whispered of an ancient quest. The key held the promise of unlocking the gate of eternal harmony, hidden deep within the mystical mountains. Crystal, inspired by the call to adventure, embarked on a quest for eternal harmony. As Crystal soared through the valley, she encountered wind whispers, the wise owl perched on the elder oak. Wind whispers revealed the first step of the quest, to learn the language of the elements. Crystal, with determination in her eyes, practiced the gentle rustle of leaves, the babbling of brooks, and the laughter of fireflies. Their journey continued to the crystal caves, where Luminara, the ancient unicorn, guarded the crystal of clarity. Luminara bestowed upon crystal the knowledge of inner clarity. 
teaching her to trust her instincts and listen to the whispers of her heart. Crystal, now prepared for the quest, entered the mystical mountains. The path led through the whimsical woods, where the mischievous fairies tested Crystal's resolve. With kindness and a twinkle in her eye, Crystal earned the fairies' trust, discovering that harmony blossomed from understanding and empathy. As Crystal approached the enchanted falls, Aqua, the water spirit, challenged her to navigate the currents of change. Crystal, with unwavering determination, learned to adapt to the ebb and flow, discovering that flexibility was the key to maintaining harmony. Their final destination was the celestial summit, where Ember, the fire phoenix, awaited. Ember ignited a flame within Crystal, teaching her the essence of passion and determination. Crystal, now a beacon of harmony, acquired the last piece of wisdom needed to unlock the gate of eternal harmony. With the key in her possession, Crystal returned to the valley. The magical creatures gathered to witness the unlocking of the gate. As Crystal inserted the golden key, a radiant glow enveloped the valley, and a harmonious melody echoed through the air. The gate of eternal harmony swung open, revealing a realm where the colors of the sky danced in perfect unison, and the song of the valley resonated with balance. Crystal, with wings aglow, realized that the true quest was not just about unlocking gates, but about discovering the harmony within oneself and spreading it to others. And so, in the heart of the Enchanted Valley, Crystal the Griffin's quest became a legendary tale, a story carried by the breeze, reflected in the sparkling waters, and embraced by every creature that yearned for harmony in their magical realm. In the heart of the enchanted ember woods, where the flames danced in hues of gold and crimson, lived Blaze, a young and spirited fire elemental with eyes that gleamed like flickering embers. Blaze, with a heart full of warmth, longed to share the magic of the dancing flames with the creatures of the mystical woods. One bright morning, as the sun cast a golden glow through the trees, a soft voice echoed from the heartfire tree. The wise elders of Ember Woods spoke of a friendly fire elemental named Blaze, whose flames harbored the secrets of both warmth and friendship. Blaze, feeling the call of adventure, set forth on a quest for Ember Harmony. His journey began at the Ember Glade, where the emberflies fluttered in a symphony of light. Blaze, with a gentle flicker, learned to communicate with the emberflies and discovered the art of creating playful fire patterns in the air. The glade, now aglow with the warmth of camaraderie, reflected the first hints of ember harmony. Continuing through the luminous lava pools, Blaze encountered Spark, the fire salamander, whose scales shimmered like molten gold. Spark, with a playful sizzle, taught Blaze the dance of controlled flames. Blaze, now adept at guiding his fiery aura, left trails of warmth in his wake. Their adventure led them to the Fireflower Grove, where Ignis, the Phoenix Guardian, sang songs that echoed through the trees. Ignis, with a majestic wingbeat, revealed the secrets of harmonizing with the elements. Blaze, now attuned to the rhythmic dance of the forest, joined Ignis in a blazing duet. As they approached the mystic molten caves, Ember, the ancient fire dragon, emerged. Ember, with eyes glowing like a furnace, shared the essence of controlled heat. 
Blaze, with a respectful bow, absorbed the wisdom of Ember, learning that warmth could be shared without harm. Their journey reached its peak at the Hearthstone Summit, where celestial flames flickered in vibrant colors. Blaze, with a heart full of Ember Harmony, absorbed the celestial flames into his essence. The summit, now a beacon of warmth and friendship, cast a radiant glow across the enchanted ember woods. With the quest complete, Blaze returned to the Heartfire Tree. The elders, acknowledging Blaze's newfound wisdom, gathered to celebrate the ember harmony that now embraced the entire woods. Blaze, now the guardian of warmth, danced through the woods, sharing the gentle flickers of friendship with every creature that called the Enchanted Ember Woods home. And so, in the heart of the Enchanted Ember Woods, Blaze, the friendly fire elemental, became a legendary tale, a story whispered by the flames, embraced by the trees, and celebrated by every creature that sought the comforting warmth of friendship, forever enchanted by Blaze's quest for Ember Harmony.